Now that we've had a look at the announcements area, we're going to check out the content tab within your online course. A good rule of thumb to remember with the content tab, this is where you're going to find your main content for your class. If you're looking for an assignment to do, there could be other areas where this will show up, but content is always a good place to start. Some areas that stay the same within the content of your course are the overview, if your professor lists a short description of what the course would be about, bookmarks area for any links or textbook chapters or something you might be visiting often, your professor might put as a bookmark, and your course schedule. This will show if you've got any dates approaching, due dates for assignments. Again, it's how your professor sets it up. So if they haven't listed due dates, you probably won't see anything here within the course schedule. From here, the layout of the content page can look a lot of ways. Many professors choose to list modules here along the side. Others will put links and files and downloads. From course to course, it changes a little and you'll have to get used to the layout of the content page. But for this purpose, you can see we have a table of content. It shows the modules that are listed within the course. And you'll see for mine, I have check marks next to some of them. These are items I've already viewed or explored on my own. So that's good to know as well. When you click on your table of contents, you'll see that some are completed if you've already opened those and finished the job. Check your progress bar. I see that I've got seven topics to complete and I've already finished four of them. Just be sure when monitoring your progress that you've actually finished what's listed within that module. Sometimes if you open it and you're distracted, you have to do something else and you need to come back to it, it could possibly show that you've finished it when in reality you haven't. Be aware of what you've done within each module. We're going to go back and explore the first module together. Now, as I said earlier, professors can set this up differently. They can list due dates and start dates with some of their assignments. Check for dates first to see what's approaching so that you can handle your course load within the time of the deadline frame. But if you don't see dates, a good thing to remember is to just kind of go in order. The first module that's listed here explains what is Microsoft Word. If we were taking a beginner's course on this, we would have access to our content here. Content can appear in lots of different ways. For this module here, our content appears as a PDF document. Like we said earlier, when we see a blue text, we'll want to click it to see what appears. It could be an attachment or it could link to different content within your course. This one has pulled up the PDF right inside the content window and you can see that you've got your content. This is just something the professor wants you to read on your own. For this particular PDF document, you'll see that it opens within this window and as I scroll down, I'm moving this scroll bar. What's very important to remember on these pages is you also have this scroll bar to the right, which moves the entire page down. Many times we think we're seeing everything because we're moving this scroll bar, but we have to remember there's more to the page. A couple of options to remember when you're using PDF documents. Again, it'll show up in this window and you can scroll through that way. You can also use these page counters to be sure you're viewing all of the content. But let's say that you wanted to have this as a hard copy to be able to write or highlight. It's not going to serve your purpose well to just see it here in this window. You would come below and you would choose the download option. Once I click that, I'll notice it pulls up the PDF as an attachment in the bottom. I've done this once or twice, so it's giving me the two afterward. From here, you could open this PDF. You could choose to print it or save it to your device, whatever you want it to do. But another feature aside from downloading the PDF is to open it with the doc reader. This gives you the option to listen to the text, view it in a different format, and other tools as well. For example, you have your listening tab here. What is Microsoft Word? Word processing software used. That could be handy if you just want to listen instead of read. <laughs> you have the text mode here as well, which limits the distractions on the page. Other tools you have available are an annotation tool here where you can choose colors and let's say highlight different areas within the text and 
Also, you have the option to print from here as well. Just be careful with this one if you're trying to print on campus. This might not be the best way to go about it. That explains the doc reader. Give you some more options when you're looking at your content. For now, let's go back within our module of Microsoft Word and see if we've done everything here. We've looked at the PDF document. You'll notice below it is a written response. Some of your content can also be assignments as well as just your readings and your lessons. You'll want to check the content page for some of that. Um, Cassie's going to explain, I believe, the assignments in a later portion of the course. Content can also appear in other ways besides just documents. It could be tutorials such as videos that show up. Again, if you see um, blue text within your module, remember to click that to have access to the content. So this, rather than being a PDF document, appears as a video that you would play and have access to. To Microsoft Word, you're ready for our next lesson, which is starting a blank document. There you go. All right. So we'll Thank you so much. And done. <laughs> you will see that content shows as a video. You are finished with that. You've got your options here to go further, um, go back and forward within your course. So this module, once we would load up this assignment, we would have that check mark appear there as well, and we would have 100% completion for this area of our content. Going down to our third on our table of content, just to give you an example of other ways your content can be um, showing up here, you might have links that your professor has posted. This one's a good one to take notice of because within our module, creating a new document, you've got part one and part two. Just be aware that you're viewing all of the content once you've opened up a module. Remember to scroll through the page and make sure that you've done everything. After I would watch part one and part two, I would come down to the rest of the content. Again, assignments could be listed right from the content page just to make it easier to find. This is a game that would click to a third party source like a website. From here I can tell my professor also wants me to join a discussion. Later um, someone will be talking about doing assignments in this, in this uh, training, but if you do see an assignment listed in content, you can always access the link from here. So later we'll talk about discussion threads and how to start those here, but it's a good thing to notice that sometimes that's listed right there in your content page. Let's pop back into our table of contents just to see if we've just explored everything here. We've looked at all three modules. Like I said, this one's showing a completed check mark because we did everything that was listed in there. We viewed this tutorial. But, like I said earlier, even though it's showing us a check mark, I hope that you noticed this was blue as well. This is showing us to be sure to take the quiz. And like my partner will mention later on, that is available in other areas of the course. But if you see it linked right here in your content, go ahead and take care of it and you'll know that it's finished right then. For this particular course, the professor has listed the quiz link right there in the content for you. You would be able to start that quiz by pushing the button. I'm going to take us back to the content tab. Again, remember professors set this up in completely different ways, but it's always best to check what's here listed along the side. Um, look for due dates and start dates and just make sure you're exploring the entire page and everything within each module. Thank you so much for checking out the content tab within our D2L course. Next up, we'll talk about grades and course activities.